Hello to you. My name is Jesse Johnson. This is part two of about Vernon Howard and his escape from the human jungle. We stopped at 62 in part one and we'll start at 63, 63 in part two here. Please go and see part one. To begin, when society praises loyalty and patriotism, it is simply pledging allegiance to its own neurosis. The more contradictions in a man or woman, the more they like to accuse others of having contradictions. The refusal of rescue can take many forms, as with the preference for bitterness over insight. What vanity calls personal choice is simply the attraction or repulsion of exterior things. A chief feature of false life is that it cannot stand on its own or stand alone, but frantically demands allies to support its false positions. A real conscience is as high above society's nor moralities as a star is above a sheep. Nothing in the world, nothing in the world is what it seems because the viewer, their self, is not what they seem. A person immersed in psychic sleep will always deny it, for their very sleep prevents them from hearing about and understanding their actual condition. People who make the human jungle the horror that it is often pose as experts in escaping it. Truth can be explained with simple words, but deluded men and women think that the obscure is the profound. A, a, sim a simple admission that one's life does not make sense as now lived could be the great turning point. What do you expect? What do you expect from a world that glorifies weakness, hatred, and so on by calling it strength? A weak person's duty is to try to shove their responsibilities onto you and your duty is to refuse them. A man, a man or woman's wish to exploit other people is their own unconscious invitation to other people to exploit him or her in return. Devils disguised as, as angels will always claim that angels are devils disguised as angels. Once again, devils disguised as, as angels will always claim that angels are devils disguised as angels. Self-deception is so subtle that perhaps one person in a million really understands its danger. The great test of sincerity is whether we are willing to hear about and examine self-deception. A false path must be tensely and angrily defended by those it has deceived. The banquet is ready. The banquet is, is on the table, but hungry men and women refuse to approach. A man lacking courage to make, pardon me, a man or woman lacking courage to make their own decisions will have plenty of nerve to criticize the decisions of others. Can a person who remains in secret internal confusion ever do what is truly right for their own self? If your friends want to angrily 
fight life, you can only let them do so while you live above fighting life. Confused humanity mistakes mere movement for progress, but real progress must include an awakening of inner essence. Remember, remember, destructive egoism never calls itself egoism, but masquerades, masquerades as love, generosity, helpfulness. If heaven existed as a physical building on earth, human beings would remodel it to make it right. One of society's absurd delusions is that the spending of money can cure something. It is, it is possible to have ideas of cosmic quality, and they alone can do good to the world. Anyone lacking the ability to listen cannot listen when told of their inability to listen. One, one cunning trick of false light is to solemnly warn you against false light. Cosmic sunshine exists to those who have learned to drop their strange love for shadows. Trying to change conditions without changing ourselves is as impossible as dry water. A chief feature of an unawakened human being is their lack of interest in anything above their own neurosis. The healing facts can penetrate a hard mind about as easily as roses can penetrate a brick wall. Where the human mind sees great heroes and dangerous villains, reality sees one mass of equally lost human beings. Only those who honestly admit they are lost are capable of finding themselves. Is the truly sincere person the one who is trying to save the world or the one trying to save his or herself from his or herself? Anyone can discover what his or her life on earth is all about once the person chooses self-discovery over self-glory, over self-glory. The jungle will not change, but you can change. So start today with good cheer. I want to thank everyone for listening and watching. Subscribe, share this video, and look and look at these videos. 1 and 2, parts 1 and 2, again, 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 and again. Have a good day.